What's up YouTube? John here. Thank you for joining Blue Carbon Reefing. It is finally time to get some fish back into the main display system. So those of you who are new here or uh, haven't been following along, uh, obviously I've been dealing with uh, a bout of ick in the tank. So I have had all of my fish out of my main system for actually quite a few months, since last December. Uh, everybody here that you're looking at has gone through 30 days of copper treatment, quarantine, observation afterwards, and everybody doing well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the most kind of timid fish, least aggressive fish first. I don't want to put obviously 20 fish just back into the main display all at once. Um, I'm going to slowly build it up and I also want the least timid fish to go in there first to kind of establish themselves, their hiding spots, uh, before I start adding the more aggressive fish. So I'm going to start with some of the fire fish. I have a six line wrasse, I have a fox face, a coral beauty. I'm kind of giving you an overview of the three different quarantine tanks that I have right now um, and kind of showing you how I uh, have catching the fish. So I have a five gallon bucket of the tank water. Over the last couple months I have been slowly raising the salinity in the quarantine tanks that I normally keep at 1.20 to 1.022 uh, to raise the salinity up to 1.025. The main display is at 1.026. So um, pretty close as far as the salinity matching that way they're going right into the new system but they're not really having a whole lot of shock uh, they're you know pretty much used to the same parameters so catching the three firefish was pretty easy I use a specimen container uh, instead of a net for them and I'm basically grabbing them by hand and putting them into the bucket. Uh, I'm trying not to take any of the dirty water from the quarantine tank and put it into uh, the new bucket. That way when I put everybody in and you see that, uh, I'm just pouring the bucket of the already display tank water that they're sitting in right into the main display and it, to me it's just the easiest way to do it. Um, the uh, fox face, and I didn't show you this, but the fox face was <laughs> probably one of the most difficult because uh, he's poisonous. I was really trying not to. Um, I was really trying not to touch him whatsoever, and so essentially, instead of grabbing him and putting him in the bucket, I poured him into a net, and then obviously put the net into the bucket and let him swim out of the net. Uh, obviously, you got to be very careful with fox faces and certain fish because their spines, their top uh, dorsal fin are uh, poisonous, so if you get hit by one of those, um, it's going to be pretty painful. Next we're catching the six line wrasse and the core beauty. Both of those were actually pretty easy to catch. I did use a net for those uh, as opposed to the specimen container. So uh, main display. I'm able to take everybody who's in this five gallon bucket and essentially just dump them right into the main system and let them go from there. So i uh, got to move the lights out of the way. That's pretty much the only thing I had to do at this point after getting on the ladder. And you'll see in a second here, I'm just going to pour the bucket right in and everyone's going to dart off and kind of choose where they want to start hiding and checking the tank out. So one thing I would like to add as I am adding the fish, something that I think is really important is when you are adding fish to the tank you want to add some form of bacteria uh, for this case I was using Dr. Tim's waste away uh, I've already been working or using that uh, on the tank already to uh, try to combat some of this hair algae and bring my nitrates down um, what I was going to say though is going fallow having no fish in the tank for months uh, all of that bacteria that is in the tank that uh, essentially helps break down the ammonia the other waste that the fish give off um, dies off if there's nothing there to feed it. So um, putting fish back in the tank before in previous months uh, I have had a huge algae bloom coming so this time around I'm going to be adding the Dr. Tim's waste away uh, to have that beneficial bacteria in the system to help combat uh, you know that ammonia and other things that the fish are going to be giving off as well as uh, now going back to feeding the tank food which is also putting nutrients back in the tank. Uh, one thing that's very important when you do do the Dr. Tim's is to turn your protein skimmer off. Uh, it does say 12 to 24 hours. Last time I turned them off, uh, when I dosed the bacteria, I turned them off. The, the protein skimmers for about 24 hours and I did lose a coral. So I'm not sure if that can be attributed to that, but uh, this time around I really only turned them off for about eight hours uh, and everything was fine this time around. So uh, just giving you a heads up, that's uh, my apex there. 
um, just have two different protein skimmers. So just turning off both protein skimmers. And here we are with it being over 24 hours later. We got your chorus wrasse who's coming out now. You got your firefish. There's two there. We'll find the third one. I just saw the six line wrasse. Coral beauty. Six line light wrasse in the coral beauty. That doesn't pick up very good colors for you. Sorry. Six line wrasse. And let's give these guys a feeding. We're gonna feed here. All right, I'm gonna put a lot in here just to make sure everybody's eating. And I'm going to turn off the Powerheads MP40. mode and let everybody check it out. See if we can come around the other side and get the fox face. And fox face is over here who's just angry right now. afraid of me. And here is the update of the fish I got from LiveAquaria.com. We got your leopard wrasse, your cleaner wrasse, your two spot blenny, tail spot blenny, and your orange shoulder tang.